first name the types of following triangles so these are the questions and we have to find the types of these triangles the number first is triangle with lengths of side 7 cm 8 cm and 9 cm well here you can see that different sides are there so naming triangles based on sides a triangle having all three unequal sides if we have unequal sides, therefore it is called as scalene triangle. Therefore, this is your scalene triangle. B part. Triangle ABC with AB is this much. AC is 7 and BC is 6 cm. Again, the same thing. The sides are not equal. Therefore, it is scalene triangle. Triangle PQR such that PQ, QR and PR, that is all the sides are 5 cm. Therefore, it is a triangle having three equal sides is called an equilateral triangle. Therefore, it is an equilateral triangle. D. Triangle DEF with measure of angle D equal to 90 degree. So, you can see here. If one of the angle is 90 degree, it is called as right angle triangle. Therefore, it is. 90 degree and it is right angled triangle so if any one of the angle is right angle then the triangle is called as a right angle triangle e part triangle xyz with measure of angle y equal to 90 degree and rest of the two sides are equal therefore it is First of all, with the sides, it is isosceles because two sides are equal. Therefore, it is isosceles. And also, one of the angle is 90 degree. We can name a triangle based on angles or sides. So, here it is isosceles and right angle both. F part. Triangle LMN with measure of angle L equal to 30 degrees and of that of M is 70 degree and of N equal to 80 degrees. Well, here all the angles are less than 90 degree, therefore they are acute angle triangle. So, it names if each angle is less than 90 degree, here we have each angle less than 90 degree and the triangle is called as acute angled triangle. So, this was your F part, last part of the question 1. Question 2 match the following measure of triangle with type of the triangle so first of all we will see three sides of equal length well all the lengths are equal therefore it is equilateral triangle so we'll match it second two sides of equal length now we have two sides that means it is isosceles therefore we'll match two with g all sides are of different length it is scalene a part Scaling is where the sides are all different. Three acute angles. Well, we have three acute angles in acute angled triangle. So this is fourth with F part. Now, one right angle. Well, it is right angled triangle. So we'll match B with d now sixth one obtuse angle so it is obtuse angled now the last part one right angle with two sides of equal length this was just the last question we did it is isosceles right angled therefore it was your question number second third name each of the following triangles in two different ways you may judge the nature of the angle by observation. So we will name triangle based on angle as well as on basis of sides. So here, first of all, two angles are same. Therefore, they are represented by two arcs. Therefore, it is acute angle because all the angles are less than 90 degree. First, we'll see the angles and the sides. So therefore, it is acute angle. Why it is isosceles? Because two sides or two angles in this triangle are equal. Therefore, it is acute angled and isosceles. Now, here, easily visible, represented by square box, it is right angled here. 
therefore right angle why it is scalene because all the sides are different that is 15 17 and 8 centimeter respectively therefore it is a b part now see look clearly visible one angle is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree therefore it is it is obtuse angled and therefore we write obtuse angle and isosceles because two sides are equal also two angles are equal whenever the two sides are equal it always means that two angles are also equal now here again the square box that is right angled by isosceles in this case because two sides are equal that is 10 centimeter 10 centimeter that also means the corresponding angles are also equal here all the sides are equal therefore it is equilateral which is 5.2 centimeter all sides and acute angle because all the angles measures less than 90 degree individually well in case of equilateral angles always measure 60 degrees because 16 to 3 gives you 180 here again obtuse angle but in opposite direction of that of question c so it is above 90 and less than 180 and scaling because all the sides are different in lengths 10 15 and 9 therefore it was your f part of your question number third fourth try to construct triangles using matchsticks some are shown here like we have to construct with the help of these matchsticks having equal lengths so uh, what we will do is in first case can you make triangle with the number a three matchsticks well yes we will also have to remember that uh, we have to use all the matchsticks in each case and also we'll have to name the triangles that is formed and if we cannot make a triangle then the reasons for it so first is a part that is three matchsticks. Well, yes, you can make it. You can see here, just attaching all those, and it will make equilateral triangle because all the three sides are equal. Now, four matchsticks. Well, we cannot make with the help of four matchsticks. As you can see here, if you try to make with the help of four matchsticks, like three and one four, then we need some other matchstick which is longest to connect this point, the end points. So we don't have such matchstick here. Therefore, with the four matchsticks, it is not possible to make a triangle. Therefore, we will cross it. Now see five matchsticks. Well, yes, you can see here one, two, three, four, five. And here you can see that this is two matchsticks and these are two matchsticks. Therefore, it makes an isosceles triangle because the third one is not equal to the rest of the both. Therefore, it makes isosceles triangle. Now D part with six matchsticks. Yes, you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you can see all the sides represent two matchsticks, therefore forming equilateral triangle. So it is true. Now we will give a reason for the B part, that is four matchsticks. Well, it is not possible because the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle has to be greater than the third side, which is not in our case because all the matchsticks are of equal dimensions. Therefore, it was not possible here. Now also, if we have nine matchsticks like here, it will form equilateral triangle. So this was your question number four.